everyone, this is Chi Wei from One Dog Wolf. In this video, I'll be showing you how to attach the details to this reindeer sleigh bell and finish it off. The body of the sleigh bell is pretty straightforward for amigurumi. You're basically working in the round and creating a ball. So in this video, I'll be showing primarily how to attach the gray spikes and the loop at the top so that this ball is recognizable as a sleigh bell. We're going to take the beginning tail of the sleigh bell spike, which is the back of your magic circle, and thread it in a round just below the eyes to the inside of the bell. Now remove the needle off that and you'll just leave that there for a little bit. And then insert your hook back into the last active stitch in that round and work surface crochet stitches towards the magic circle at the bottom of the bell. To do that, You'll want to insert your hook under a round of single crochets, bring up a loop, and then complete the slip stitch. And do that a few more times, always moving one round closer to the magic circle at the bottom of the bell. On the last stitch, bring up that last loop, complete the slip stitch, and then grab that end um, of yarn and then pull it through that last loop. You wanna pull that tail tight to fasten off, and then thread that tail end and insert it into the back of the sleigh bell. Once you're on the back of it, or the inside of the bell, um, you can kind of flip it inside out and then tie a knot to secure it and then weave it in along the back. You'll also want to take that tail at the very beginning that you threaded in um, which was the tail that you used to create the magic circle and also tie a knot at the back of the bell and weave that in as well. And then repeat this for all four spikes around the bell. Um, the spikes are not going to be completely even around the bell because you want to avoid the eyes, but as long as you avoid the eyes and the face, then it should be fairly evenly spread out around the outside of the bell. Once you've finished with the last round of the bell, you'll want to cut a long tail because we'll actually be making chain stitches with it. Pull the yarn through the last loop, thread it onto a needle, and we're going to close up the bell using the amigurumi close. So take your threaded yarn and insert it from back to front through the front loops of each stitch in the round. This is sort of the opposite of a magic circle. Once you've got all the way around, pull tight to close everything up, and then you'll want to tie a knot right up at the tip of the bell to secure uh, this close. So now you have this really long tail, and what you wanna do now is to insert a hook into the top of the bell Pull up a loop with this yarn, and now you can work about six to eight chain stitches, depending on how big your chain stitches are. Um, and this will create the loop at the top so you can insert, you can attach a ribbon. Once you're done with your chain stitches, insert your hook into the bell again, complete a slip stitch, and then fasten off, just do a normal fasten uh, for the rest of the yarn. and then make sure to tuck that yarn back into the bell, um, cut it really short, close to the body, so that the end of the yarn is, kind of pulls back into the stuffing and gets tucked into the body of the bell. So now we have this loop on the top of the bell and we just take a piece of red ribbon 
thread it through the loop, just tie a double knot, whatever knot you like, or a bow, and this just makes things a little more festive, and it kind of reminds me of the reindeer sleigh bell from Polar Express. The final step is to take a hot glue gun, and we're going to secure those little, the heads of those little spikes that we had added on. I know we took the beginning tail and secured it at the back of the bell, uh, but they're all a little bit loose, so just take a little bit of hot glue, dab it to the back of that round of six stitches, and hold it down and make sure it's glued to the body of the bell and that it lays flat. So you'll want to do that to all four of the spikes. Now you have a little reindeer sleigh bell. If you like this tutorial, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more fun projects and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.